So there's this video online of a polyglot who walks up to people in a mall and starts speaking in their language. And the funny thing is that for Spanish, Korean, Dutch, Indonesian, all those languages, people are very happy, like, oh, it's so cool that you speak my language. But then he walks up to a couple of Russian people and he starts speaking Russian and they're like, and that's very funny because it's kind of like similar to a reaction that I got as a non-native speaker, as a person who learned Russian. Uh, Russians are very happy, like they're, they, they appreciate a lot that you're learning Russian. But you also get the question a lot, why did you learn Russian? What's the use of it? So in this video, I want to answer the main question, is learning Russian a waste of time? So in order to answer this question well, we kind of need to look at what do we people want? And in general, people want, they want to be healthy, they want to have money, and they want to have good relationships. So let's go over these three things and compare them to Russian. Uh, if you want to be healthy, like be in good shape, not be overweight, just feel good in general, then learning Russian is going to be a complete waste of time. Like the only thing that I basically did uh, was I, I, I read some, some weird books about becoming healthy uh, in Russian from some guy named, uh, I completely forgot the name, Konstantin Monastirsky. No, if you, if you want to be healthy, then learning Russian is going to be a complete waste of time. So a second need of, of you and us being human beings is that we want to have money. We want to have resources in order to do the things that we want in order to have the freedom that we, we like, you know. Um, and learning Russian for that, it's, it's already a little bit more useful. But in general, I would say it's also a waste of time for most people um, because <clears throat> the Russian economy is growing and if you learn Russian then for your job for example if your company does business with Russia it can increase your salary or if you are from um, a, a second or third world country then for sure you could learn Russian and you could go to Russia in order to get maybe a, a better job there but in general just purely for money there are probably better things to do with your time like learning how to you know become a better writer how to give better speeches in general um, so in general for Getting more money Russian is also basically a little bit of a waste of time, except for a couple of cases. And the main third need of uh, humans is that we want to have connections to other people, like relationships basically. And this is where Russian is kind of not a waste of time. This is where it becomes actually necessary to learn Russian because Russian is a language and a language is being used to communicate between people. So that means that if you learn Russian, you can now communicate with everyone else who speaks Russian. And because Russian people don't really speak English that well, you need to know Russian in order to communicate well with them. And this is, for example, the main reason why I, for me, Russian is completely not a waste of time because my girlfriend is Russian. That means that I can communicate um, well, she speaks English, so um, for, for that it's not necessary. But in order to better understand the culture where she's coming from, and in order to have a good time when we travel to Russia together, and to speak to her parents, who uh, who don't speak English that well, and to speak to her, her grandparents, for example, and to anyone else when we come in Russia. So for me, learning Russian in that case is very useful. And it can also be for you, for example, if you, uh, and I, I know a guy here in Holland, his grandma, she's Russian. So she moved here probably after the Second World War. And that means that he's for 25% Russian. So for him, it would make sense to, he, he tried learning some Russian because he thought, well, I'm a little bit Russian, but I only speak Dutch and English. So it's kind of a shame. I want to know more about my, my background in order to, you know, speak to her and speak to maybe some other relatives. And in that case, it can be very useful to learn Russian. So now let's go through kind of like a step-by-step -step questionnaire to see if learning Russian for you would be a waste of time. If you say yes to uh, questions like that are coming like this, then it means that you should learn Russian and it's not a waste of time. So let's get started. The first thing is, if you want to go and live and work in Russia, then of course learning Russian is not a waste of time. Then it's a completely very good use of your time actually, because you must know Russian in Russia in order to, to, to live, to communicate with people. So that's the first question. The second question is, if you're in a relationship with a Russian per person or you have Russian family or maybe you're, you know, you have Russian heritage, in that case, it would be very good to learn Russian because you can improve the relationships that you have with Russian people by showing more interest in their culture and to basically improve that for yourself. And the third question that you can ask yourself, do you find Russian interesting? Because if you think that Russian is interesting, then, you know, it won't solve like a big problem, it won't make your life a lot better like in the previous cases. But in general, if you have time left 
and you find Russian interesting, then it can be a very good thing to also learn because you'll improve your, your memory, your rational thinking, because Russian is a difficult skill to learn. And if you can master it for yourself, it can mean that you know, you'll become a lot smarter and you'll be able to improve your memory, just overall function better. Plus, it's also going to be super interesting because now, for example, you can read Preступление um, Наказание or, um, you know, any other Russian literature book. You can read it in Russian. You can watch movies and series. You can follow the Russian news in, um, in instead of just following the, the, the Western part. You can now take a look from two sides and compare what you think is the real thing that is going on. And the final question to see if Russian is a waste of time for you is, are you incredibly bored? I once sat on a plane and there was a Russian girl next to me and she said that she knew a guy, a Dutch guy, who um, who was learning languages just because he was super bored. So he started in Holland, so you know he knew Dutch obviously, then he went to learn German, then he learned German, then he learned Polish, then he learned Ukrainian, and now he was learning Russian, like he was just going east and this guy was incredibly bored and that's probably why you learn russian and if this is you if you really don't have anything better to do it's probably not you if you're watching this video then um yeah why not i mean it's better than playing video games for example you can also play video games in russian that will also help uh it's better than you know watching netflix it's better than not doing anything at all it's better to learn a useful skill as russian though for many cases it would be better to learn a real useful skill or maybe go to the gym or do something like that so the main thing that I want you to understand from this video is that for basically, let's say, like 50% of people out there who want to learn Russian, it's probably, it's just going to be a hobby. Like, it's not necessarily a waste of time since you really learn a useful skill and it's better than many other things that people use to waste their time. But if you have real problems in life, like, you know, you're, you're um, overweight or, for example, you don't earn enough money to pay the rent, then you probably should be doing other things than learning Russian. For most people, learning Russian is a hobby, which is actually very liberating because if something is a hobby for you, it means that you have to enjoy it and take a relaxed approach. And if you're, you know, just enjoy all the progress that you can get, like you're, you're not going to be uh, put out of your house or lose your job if you don't learn Russian. So it's a very liberating approach if you just see it as a hobby, as something fun that you do in your off time to become smarter and to better communicate with people. If you want to improve your Russian, I recommend you check the link in the description for my 30-day conversational Russian challenge, which will help you speak Russian like a native speaker. Thank you very much for watching. Спасибо вам большое и желаю вам удачи с изучением русского языка. Пока!